I rarely, if ever, take a stand on stuff like turn meter dynamics or an exact speed to put it at. You guys are 100% wrong about Foo going first. First of all, Foo doesn't go on the team. Foo does not belong on the team. He costs you health and protection every time he gives turn meter gain. Second of all, Hux goes before Foo. That's all I'm saying. I don't ever take a stand on this stuff. I love to have everybody have their opinions. That opinion is wrong and I don't care who has it. You're all wrong. Foo is way too fast. This should be Hux. Hux should be faster than Foo. You don't... Um, well, if you well, let's just think let, let's say and and I don't recommend using first order officer in a first order lineup just because every time you gain he looks pretty cool by the way every time you gain turn meter you lose 10% max health protection under Kylo's lead so this is a gain turn meter Hux is a turn meter swap right isn't that what it is or just a bonus turn a bonus turn so you want Hux faster than... If you're going to do that, you want Hux to go first because when he passes the turn meter, um, Kylo resets all of his cooldowns. Then when First Order Officer passes their turn, then he does the swipe. If that's what you're doing. I don't recommend it, but... Hey, Steven Scruggs. Welcome to the channel. Your mods need work. Your mods need work. Your mods need work. What's the stream title? Skibbity Roster Reviews. What do you want? It's pretty clear. Foo slightly faster. I. No. You don't. Why would you want that? Look. Hold on. Hold on. Who said that? Who said to have Foo faster? They're wrong. Okay, let's let's do the two turn. Let's do the two turn order. Okay, Kylo goes first. Okay, Kylo does stasis strike. Boom, he stacks up forty siphon. Right. Then let's say that Fu goes second. Fu gives him turn meter, hundred percent turn meter. Kylo does a swipe on forty siphon. Okay, are you with me? Then Hux grants him turn meter, and he does another stasis strike. Now he's at eighty siphon, but he's not going to get around to it till later. Kylo goes, stasis strike, 40 siphon. Hawks pass him turn meter, stasis strike, 80 siphon. Fu passes turn meter, you siphon 80, right out the bat. There's no way Fu should be first. It should be Hawks before Fu. Except after you, and when eating your pie, pie oh my. If you're going to do that, which I don't even recommend. That's all I'm saying. Rabbit Beaver is wrong. I, I, I love him. He's wrong about that. That doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to think of why you would do that. Why would you want to siphon with 40? With 40? Why would you want to siphon 40 instead of siphoning 80? I don't know. Everyone's wrong. Someone has to give me an answer. Somebody has to tell me why. We can't just say somebody else said it. They're all wrong. No. They've got to tell me why. First of all, Fu shouldn't be on the team. That's the first thing, okay? Maybe to get tickets, fine. But he just shouldn't be on the team. Because every time he passes turn meter or gets gained turn meter, everybody loses 10% health and protection. So Fu doesn't belong on the team, maybe for tickets. I need someone to tell me. Someone's got to tell me why. There's a cheese wrestle care event where you, you want faster, so you stun AoE before the cooldown reset. Why do you need to cheese it? There's no reason. You don't need to cheese it. Nah, I, I disagree. I disagree. Do you have to swipe every time you increase your siphon? Is it not enough with one swipe? Look, 
you want maximum amounts of siphon when you siphon. You want you want it to be bigger. If you siphon 40, you only siphon 40. If you have you want to have 80 if you can. I I start off every Kylo battle with two siphons. That's my start. I get them up to 80 siphon like immediately. Right, you poke twice. You poke twice. I don't like it. I disagree. We're gonna go play the we're gonna go play tier one of the Kylo event here in a minute. And we'll fit we'll fix it up both ways. After Fu goes and hugs, you'll have the swipe on cooldown, giving you swipe on 40 siphon. No, that doesn't make any sense either. Why not just siphon 80 right off the bat? You're gonna have you'll you'll, you'll be back to it. No, that doesn't. That's too much. That's just people are overthinking it. People are way overthinking it. Way overthinking it. Way, way, way overthinking it. <laughs> no, that's just wrong. Now, here's where I do see it working. Here's where I do see it working. Kylo Ren unmasked lead. Fu, General Hux. Fu starts, passes turn to Kylo Ren unmasked. Stun. Hux is next. Bonus turn to Kylo Ren unmasked. Reset cooldowns. Second stun. That makes sense. Okay? That makes sense. In the event. I get that. That makes sense. The swiping stuff is nonsense. Just utter nonsense. You, you want to start with two stabs whenever possible and then swipe. Uh, this is a big deal. I'm, I'm sorry. I, my, I've been playing with Kylo since near the beginning. He's my favorite uh, my favorite character in the game. If, if there's any character that I appreciate more than anyone in the game, I love Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, okay? I just, I love his mechanics. I like, I like killing stuff. I like doing damage. So, I do see where Fu Faster Than Hux makes sense for the tier one of the event to get two stuns out of Kylo Ren Unmasked. However, once you get into the game, Fu should drop out of the team entirely. But if he doesn't, Hux should be faster than Fu. And that's all we're going to say about that.